Perfect. Today we're going to be talking about how to solve two-step equations. Now this is very similar to what we did uh, previously in where we solved simple equations. <clears throat> now we're just adding another step. So if we remember the rules that we practiced before, remember that we need to split um, this equation into, and I'm going to do it right here by the equal sign. And remember, we want to get the variable last. So how do we do that? We want to make sure to get it all by itself. Usually, we want to start with our addition and subtraction on one side. So it looks like we do have some addition and some subtraction problems over here. So let's get rid of this. Or how do we undo it? What's the opposite of adding 15? Well, we want to subtract 15. So let's subtract 15. Do not forget to cross it off. And whatever you do on one side, let's do it to the other. So we need to subtract 15. By the way, is that a positive 24 a, or a negative 24? If it was a negative 24, there would be a negative sign. So that's actually a positive 24. Now remember the rules. Uh, same sign, add. Different signs, subtract. So are those different signs? Let me highlight so I know what, what you know what I'm talking about. So are those different signs? Yes, they are. So that means we need to subtract 24 minus 15. Well, we can't take 5 from 4, so let's take that. It's 1. 14 minus 5 is 9. 1 minus 1 is 0. So it looks like the answer was 9. Do we have more positives or do we have more negatives? It looks like we have more positives, so that is a positive 9. Let's bring down that equal sign. And then what's left over? We have 3x. Please do not forget to, you know, let's do this in rows. Okay, because it's going to be very, very easy for us to show our work and check our work in, in case we've made a mistake. Now, last step is let's get that X by itself. Well, what invisible operation is in between that 3 and that X? Well, it is multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. So let's divide 3X. Let's divide by 3. Do not forget to cross it off. Whatever you do on one side, let's do it to the other. 9 divided by 3 is three let's bring everything down that equal sign let's bring that x and we have x equals three this was example as we continue to do two-step equations we might need to combine certain things okay please remember that uh, to combine certain elements inside of an equation they must have similar things together so let's break this equation down into two. Remember, we want to get the variable by itself. It looks like we have two variables this time. And remember, we said we can combine certain things, certain terms, right? We have a terms. So how do we combine these terms? Well, let's see. We have an 8x and a negative 6x. Well, let's just combine those two together. So it looks like it's 8x minus 6x. What's that going to give you? 2x. Let's rewrite the equation just so that we can have a nice neat work so minus 25 equals minus 35 so now that we combined certain things together we can now move or undo certain things on both sides so remember we want to leave the variable for last so let's start off with this uh, subtraction problem what is the opposite of negative 25 well that is positive 25. So do not forget to cross it off. Whatever you do on one side, do it to the other. We have positive 25. Now, what was the rule again? Same sign, add, different signs, subtract. It looks like those signs are different, so let's subtract. 35 minus 25 will give you 0, 1, that will give you 10. Do we have more negatives or more positives? It looks like we have more negatives, so that is a negative 10. Let's bring down that equal sign. Let's bring down what's left over. We have 2x. So now that we have 2x equals negative 10, let's undo or let's get that variable all by itself. Don't forget what invisible operation is right in between that 2 and that x. Well, that's multiplication. So what is the opposite of multiplying by 2? That is to divide by 2. So 2 divided by 2, let's cross that off. And whatever you do on one side, you got to do to the other. So let's divide by 2. And negative 10 divided by 2, let me rephrase that. A negative divided by a positive, right? That's a positive 2. A negative divided by a positive is a 
negative. All right. So 10 divided by 2 will give us 5. Let's bring down that equal sign. And what's left over? We have x equals negative 5. That was example. When doing two-step equations, sometimes we might have to use the distributive property to solve some of our problems. So let's get into our third example in this lesson. Remember, I'm going to break this down into two sides. Let's take care of some issues that I see right here that I highlighted in yellow, okay? So first things first, I noticed this is different. I haven't seen this before. So how do we solve that? Well. If you remember from my lessons, I like to call this the rainbow method. It will make a lot of sense later on when we do start doing longer problems, but I'll try to show you what I mean. So I'm going to draw an arrow like this. I'm going to draw an arrow like this. Well, what do these little arrows represent? I'm going to tell you they represent multiplication. So we're going to multiply. All right, we're using the distributive property. So when we see a parentheses, we usually want to think multiplication. Um, that, that works most of the time, okay? So let's try this out. 2 times 1 is 2. Now remember, that's not just a uh, 5x. That's a negative 5x. So 2 times negative 5x or a positive times a negative will give you a negative. So 2 times negative 5x will give you negative 10x plus 4. Right? We just brought that down. Let's bring down that equal sign equals negative 8. Now, our next step is we need to combine certain things. Now, here's my first question. Can I combine this 2 and this negative 10x? Well, no, I can't because they are not the same terms. So what can I combine? I can combine this 2 and I can combine this 4. So I'm going to rewrite this problem so that we can combine those two things together. So I have 2, that's a plus 4, and then I have minus 10x equals negative 8. So let's combine things that I can combine together. 2 plus 4 is 6 minus 10x equals negative 8. All right. Our last step is to get the variable all by itself. So let's do that. Let's get rid of this 6. Well, is this a positive 6 or is that a negative 6? Well, that's a positive 6 because if it was a negative 6, there would be a negative sign. So what's the opposite of a positive 6? That's negative 6. Whatever you do on one side, do to the other negative 6. Now, same sign or different sign? Same sign. So if it's the same sign, we need to add 8 plus 6 equals 14. They're both negative, so that's a negative 14. Let's bring down what we have left. We have negative 10x equals negative 14. Now let's just get that 10 all by its, or sorry, let's get that x all by itself. Well, what's the opposite of Remember, that's a multiplication right there. What's the opposite of multiplying by negative 10? Well, that's dividing by negative 10. We'll cross that off. Whatever you do on one side, got to do to the other. We're going to divide by negative 10. Now we're going to leave this in just in fraction form. So let's bring down that x and equals. Let's simplify, actually. Let's divide by 2. So that's negative 7 over negative 5. And a negative divided by a negative, I'm talking about this right here, will give you a what? A positive. So the answer is x equals 7 over 5. All right, that was our last example for. Perfect!